So hi and welcome to this Learn PHP video. Uh, it's been a while but we're uh, starting these videos up again. So today what we're going to be talking about is the post function. Um, well not really a function but the post ability within PHP. And what I mean by this is the ability to transfer data from um, a page to a website or from a page to another page or whatever or a page to a server or things like that. So um, the best way to show this is by example. So here I'm just going to create a simple HTML form uh, and I'm just going to create an input type of text, give it a name of my text box and give it a value. Uh, I'll actually leave it blank but I'll still uh, su supply the value um, option. So if we go to our index page and we refresh now we can see we have a text box and we can click it and it does nothing except you'll notice uh, it uh, has a it uh, does this to the URL it uh, displays it or uh, it changes the URL and uh, now we uh, the URL is a bit longer um, and it's now got a question mark and then the um, my text box and then equals and it got the my text box from the name I gave it so this name attribute is where it got my text box from uh, the question mark is just how PHP sort of knows that it's like, um, well, it's the equivalent to a command line argument in a computer. So you could, it's just like an argument that you pass in the URL. So, uh, and the reason this might not make any sense, the uh, forward slash or the uh, backslash and then the question mark is because it's actually uh, index.php, or well, it's actually slash index.php and then question mark, which is uh, what make, might make more sense. So, uh, the next thing we need to do in our form is we need to specify a method and an action. The action is the page you want the form to submit to. So, for example, if I had my all my PHP code um, uh, on a page called um, search.php, for example, then I would set my action on my form to search.php because I want it to submit all the data it receives to the page search.php. Um, but in this case, I'm submitting it to index.php because my PHP code will be above it. So I'll just set the uh, action to index.php. Uh, the method is where you can have two options. You can either write post or you can write get. And you write post when you want to submit data, like send it away to a web server. Uh, for example, if you are creating a login and register system, when you're, if you are registering a user, you want, you want to insert the information the user gives you into the database. So you would want to post that information. And if you were, for example, using, if you were making a search engine or uh, a login system as opposed to a register system, you would use get, uh, the uh, get method because what this does is it's for pulling information from a server, sort of. So um, the best way to explain it is just to show you. So at the moment, the uh, form method is get. Uh, so let's just delete all that. So now if we type in something, so let's say Francis into this uh, text box and I click enter to submit it. As you can see, it says question mark my text box equals Francis. And that is, this is because we use the get um, method. So if I change this to post, and what will happen is we actually won't see anything in the URL. So if I change this to Francis and I click enter, as you can see, nothing comes up in the URL. It's uh, completely empty. That's because uh, the get method is um, all, the th every inf all the information that gets submitted by, uh, by get uh, gets Put, pushed up into the uh, actual URL as an argument, uh, which is how another page can take, um, can, which is the, uh, the way you would get like another page to be able to retrieve the information. So you would say, uh, let's just do it again. So if we were, if we refresh, uh, and I'll actually change this to search.php for an example. So if I was to type in Francis, as you can see, it search.php doesn't exist, but that's not important. It takes us to search.php and that uses a question mark and then it uses the argument my text box equals Francis. So what you would do on the search.php page is you would retrieve the 
um, the uh, value of the my text box argument in the URL and that's how you would pass data from pages to page uh, which is why it's suitable for things like a search engine because you can pass information to other pages and retrieve information uh, pull information from a database what you can do if you use um, post is let's say well, okay, this is where the PHP comes in. So with PHP, what we what we can do to retrieve the information from uh, let's from the get method is we say dollar uh, underscore get. So this is like a it's sort of like a variable and it's sort of uh, slightly different. It's a reserved variable sort of. So if you you couldn't uh, you can't normally start a variable with an underscore, but since this is a special kind of variable, yeah, that's how you uh, start it with an underscore. And in, you don't just, instead of writing a dollar underscore get equals and then whatever, you say dollar underscore get and then use two square brackets and then a semicolon. And in between the two square brackets, you put in two uh, single quotes or double quotes, doesn't matter. And then you give it the name of your um, text box. So I just wrote my, if I wrote my text box, uh, then, oh actually I forgot, we actually need to uh, store this in a variable itself which is why this technically isn't a variable. This is just to pull data from the get method. We actually have to store this in a variable so I'll just call it, store this in a variable called my text box. And then what we can do is we can echo it out. So if I was to echo my text box, we'll get the contents of whatever I am. Okay, don't worry about this for now. Uh, this is just because the undefined index means we're trying to echo a variable that hasn't been assigned yet because this var this uh, value uh, hasn't been created yet. So what we do is we'll just say um, hello and if I hit enter, oh wait actually it's still submitting to uh, search.php, we need to submit this to index.php so that we can, what the hell, um, oops, so we can uh, actually use the um, we can access this PHP code. So uh, let's go back and refresh and type in hello again. As you can see, the undefined error goes away because we've now de the, uh, declared the variable and it's echoed us uh, hello as well as hello up in the, um, in the uh, URL. If we were to change this to post, it works exactly the same except the information doesn't get stored in the, uh, in the uh, URL. So let's go back uh, and let's type in Francis this time. As you can see the URL stays exactly the same except now we have it echoed out to us. So that's basic, that's the uh, basics of post and get in PHP but that's also this isn't very secure because people can put in things like uh, HTML tags so if I was to write Francis uh, or I could write this text is bold and I could surround it by uh, bold tags and hit enter and it's, as you can see it echoes it exactly as what was the contents of the text box. It also lets us echo things like PHP code so we can do uh, if we were to type this in we were to echo hello and hit enter. As you can see nothing went nothing actually echoed but it did run the actual PHP code. So this can be used for things like MySQL injection and uh, this is uh, potentially really bad for your database because if someone wanted they could just put in a MySQL query to delete all rows from your database and uh, that would run that would go through and you would lose all your data in your database. So what you would want to do is you want to surround this with uh, functions such as uh, strip tags to uh, prevent against that. Uh, there's loads of functions you would want to surround it with, but that's just a basic uh, insight. And uh, uh, as we go through more of these um, videos and we get more advanced, I'll show you more methods as well and other different things you can do. So thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite and subscribe and I'll see you next time.